Good to see you, Barbecue Warriors. Today, we're doing State Fair Turkey Leg. Everybody loves walking around your favorite fair or carnival, gnawing down on that turkey leg because it's got a built-in handle. Well, let me tell you what's even better about these turkey legs. They're keto-friendly. And when I mean keto-friendly, the brine that we're going to be using is not going to have any sugar in it. It's going to have monk fruit extract, 100% pure monk fruit extract. Don't use any of that. It might have some artificial sweeteners in it. Make sure you get the pure. This right here, awesome. But the thing that's cool about monk fruit is it doesn't need as much of monk fruit as it does sugar. Turkey legs that we're going to be doing, they got to be brined overnight. It's a long process, but good things come to those who wait. So what we're going to do here, we got to make a brine up. We got a tablespoon of cinnamon, a tablespoon of allspice, garlic powder, three tablespoons of onion powder, three tablespoons of dry sage, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, one tablespoon of black pepper, one cup of kosher salt. Now the last to make it keto friendly is our monk fruit extract, two tablespoons. We got a pot over here that's heating up already, getting hot of a gallon of water. We've got our ingredients right here for the brine that we're going to pour over those turkey legs. We're going to mix it up, bring it to a boil, then we're going to let it totally cool down before we put it over our turkey legs. Let me get it good and mixed up and let it simmer here a minute. See you back after it cools down a little bit, then we're going to pour it right over our turkey legs. We've got to cool down. We've got to do some prep work on our turkey legs. Not a lot. Go out to do a little bit. We're going to take a meat tenderizer. About 56 blades right there. We're gonna pierce the skin on these legs. That's all you want to do. You ain't want to go to the bone. Just pierce the skin. Now what that does for us is a couple of things. It's gonna help that brine get into the meat deep, but it's also gonna help in the cooking process when we want that bite through skin. So we're ready to go. We've got the last two legs prepped. We're gonna take our brine that's cooled down. It's got to cool down now. You can't use hot. We're going to snap it down, it goes back in the fridge for at least eight hours or overnight. All right, barbecue warriors, our eight hours is up right here or overnight, whichever one you want to do, for our turkey legs and our brine we made up. Going to bring them out. Now, when I reach down and get them, I kind of slosh it around because I don't want any excess of the ingredients of the brine to stick to them. I take it. This is going to be good eating right here. All right, we got our legs in here. Now, to keep it keto all the way, I got some recipes in my keto book right here that uses the monk fruit extract. They're awesome recipes. But for ease of doing and me not having to transfer it over into one of my shakers, today I'm gonna use my Honey Money Cluck Rub. It's got honey powder in it. So, Myron went keto over here with the brine, but I'm gonna have to fudge a little bit with my favorite rub, the Honey Money Cluck. All right, now we're gonna cook these turkey legs in the butter. Keto friendly. I got two sticks of butter I sliced. Now I'm sticking it around the edges and in between. So now we're going in our smoker set over here between 300 and 325. Gonna take us around two to three hours or until we get 165 or better down the thick part of these legs. Let's do it. Barbecue Warriors, we're three hours into the cook time right now on our state fair of turkeys. Now it's time for us to go in and get our turkey out. That right there would be good for a football tailgater, anything like that. Staying strictly with our keto diet, get the ranch. You can dip it down in there, see what they are. Let me tell you what that is. That right there is off the chain. Awesome. 